can a native fern be a biodiversity threat? Normally, we assume that if an organism is native, that it can't become invasive. But we also have native species that can become problematic for ecosystems when they're faced with these novel conditions. This is a species of fern called hay-scented fern, and it's a beautiful native species that's been here for thousands of years. However, today, in some cases, it forms these dense monocultures in the forest understory, outcompetes all of the other native plants, and even tree species that are trying to grow there. Today, we can have areas that we describe as having a fern problem. And the truth is that, in this case, there's no such thing as a fern problem. There's such a thing as a fern plus a deer problem. A little bit of deer browse is normal, but where deer are overpopulated, they're browsing too much. And the species that they don't like to browse, of which hay-scented fern is one, become more prominent. As it's sort of being weeded around by these deer that are browsing all the other stuff and not browsing them, they can form these really dense areas that are pretty much only hay-scented fern. Now it's hard for most species of plants to grow in the shade, but this actually creates a different kind of shade that's even harder. We call it low shade. When plants are growing in the understory of a forest, you have this canopy way high above and a little bit of light is able to get through. But when you have this dense monoculture of ferns in the understory, they're creating shade that's like a foot off the ground and it's very difficult for any other plants to get started. So once these hay-scented fern monocultures are established, it's really, really difficult to break through. There are ways to do it. Scarification, the superficial disturbance of the soil can work. Some folks are using a very, very diluted herbicide concentration to try and get some other plant species established. Mostly, I just wanted to tell you about this weird situation where a species that's native to this ecosystem can become problematic when dealing with these unusual novel conditions in the era of global change.